have cash? Neither, we might have to go to town and get some. I can't have that. <gasps> it stinks so bad. Tony doesn't like cheese because she's normal. No. Where's my fork? Hi. Hmm. Because. Like, yeah, that's good. Try again. Boom. Oh. Yeah, you can't go like she's got bad. It's a true story. Mm. We have carbonara for dinner, and we're eating chips. They're good. They are good, actually. They're really good. Go on, son, you can do it. Can you run him? Yes, go on, my lad. Go on. Oh, get him. Oh. Was it old? No. Was he young? Yeah. Was he fit? No. Oh. Look how he saws his bait. <coughs> maybe. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. So hilarious. I know. Oh, I'm alive. Why the fuck don't you have a thousand followers? What's wrong with you? I feel like hard. Because I don't post videos about a fucking glue stick. That's how Would you, you got a thousand followers. Would you rather post videos about a glue stick or have no, not a thousand followers? Yeah, true. Alright. Come on, Hank. Are you okay? <laughs> you okay, Han? I don't like that. Yep, that looks like Harley. <laughs> she just did. Are you okay? Oh my god, I think she's sick for you. Oh, yeah. Absolutely stuck. You're right, babe. Shh. How many people are there? I don't know. Just the two. It's gonna be very awkward. I'm also getting wet. Really bad. Just Hungry bum. Wedgie. Oh, right. That really bad. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, babe. <gasps> I don't think I've ever witnessed that in my life. <coughs> it was saggy, wasn't it? It's not saggy. It's just literally she's eating her... Leggings. Leggings. Very high crotch, clearly. <laughs> we got the same vagina. Me and Tony were comparing vaginas. Vaginas. 
doesn't ever go? Yeah. Should we ask each other questions? What was your biggest turn off? Shoes. I knew you were going to say that. Story time. Story time. I went into a club. We were in a club in Bedford. A club in Bedford. Found. Really good looking guy came up to us. Yeah, he was good looking. A group of boys. And there, then, there was like three of them. And we had a little dance off and like pissed around. I got curry sauce on my trousers. We pissed around, had a bit of a laugh. And then I looked down. I didn't want a pretty sight. He was wearing sketches. Sorry, what? Come on, boys. And he was good looking. And you know what I did? Walked away. I just walked away. I didn't even say goodbye. I just yeah. And literally, and she looked girl, down. And she walked I away, just... and I was like, "Tell me where you're going." She was like, "We were like halfway down the stairs," and you were like, "Do you see his shoes?" And I was like, "No." So he was wearing sketches. I was like, "All oh, right, okay." And we were gone. But we left. Boys. First things that I notice about boys: shoes, hair, hair. teeth. Oh yeah. Always. Shoes, hair, and teeth. But like. They're Some not, people can't help that they've got. No, no, no. That's what like, I mean. But not like, even bad thing. Not even bad thing. I just will notice yeah. those things. Like whether they're really good or really bad. I'm always that's. But then will it will turn me off. Oh yeah. I mean, if they're bad. Yeah. If they're like god awful, then I will be like. Mm. But that's they're really good looking, off. and I had a bit of money. I'll buy. You. I'll buy you some veneers. Mm. I'll send you to get some veneers. Um. What's the worst thing a boy could do to you in a relationship? In a relationship what so that i would end up ending things yeah that you'll end up things yeah. that i would end up ending things um well cheat or do yeah. you mean like a personality trait yeah yeah anything really well obviously cheat yeah cheat is an obvious one um <sighs> one thing that annoys me is when I'm talking to somebody and they just act so fucking yeah different when they're with their friends. Friends. Um, True. That is my worst nightmare. I hate it. I like. I really do. If we're talking to someone, you know, what, I prefer talking about like talking stage rather than in relationship. But if you're talking to someone and their chat is dead, yeah, I can't hack it. That cheese was just peeling and all. Yeah, because it's all stuck together, it's melted. What kids do you want? Girl or boy? What type? What type? Um, I would really like, like two girls and two boys. But I think I need to go with like three. It would be two girls and a boy. Really? You want four kids? I'm one of four and I absolutely love it. What? Although my mum had me quite late, so I don't know if I'd want that. So I think I would stick with three, maybe. But yeah, I'd want a girl, two girls and one boy. Hmm. What do you want? If a one or two. I mean, if I had one, I really want a girl. Yeah, if I could only ever, have, I would want a girl. Yeah, but then if I did have two, I would love a girl and a boy. Good names. I do. Um. The thing is, a family name is Evelyn in our family, and I right. love that name, but it's then I'll be name. like, no, because my cousin's called Evelyn, so mm. I was like, no. Kids, what am I trying to say? I like Jackson. Mm. I only mm. like, there's only one boy name that I really like. Come on, then. Noah. It's my cousin's name. I love the name Noah. And it's... Noah and Jack. And it's Crispo as well, so that's mm -hmm. what's good. Um, girls. I've never heard this before. You've never heard me say no. that? Actually, that's quite recent that I really like the name Noah. Really? That was him that was running before. Go on, boy. He looks quite young, actually. He looks probably about 16. It's taking 21 minutes from the whole part. Mm. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, so, yeah, Noah, that's actually been in recent months. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, but that's only... <coughs> Any questions? Yeah. Then, boy... No, girl name, sorry. I love the name Martha. My first daughter is going to be called Martha. 
quite like old people names. Mm. Martha, I really like the name Posey. If anyone's seen the film for Ballet Girls, one of the girls called Posey. Um, and then I also like the name Isla, but I think Isla oh, would be like cute. a middle name for one of them. But yeah, that's cute. So whoever I marry, that's what I'm calling my kids. Sorry. I don't know. I really don't. What is this woman doing? Does she know how to park? Like me, really, I guess. I'm not that bad. I don't really know what she's doing. Mm, I don't really know names. I haven't really thought about it. Haven't thought about names. Fair enough. I do find that if you tell a boy that you've already thought of baby names, you can freak them out a bit. Yeah, true. I don't think I. I, I never think about it though. I, I'm sitting. I in just the park. heard both of those names. Like all of those names, I'm like, damn, I love those names. Yeah. And one of, one of them was instant. This little girl was called Martha at Twin Lakes. She was like, and the mum was like, oh, come on, Martha. And then she was the cutest little thing. And I was like, I love that name. I love it. Yeah. And that was like, instantly, I want that name. I've known the name Posey for a long time, but only in recent years has it like come back into. Oh, yeah. she's waiting for some mum. Come back into my vocab, so. Yeah. I've eaten all of them and all the curry sauce. Yeah. Sorry, Tim. I won't be able to eat my carbonara. What's your biggest turn on? Not like sexually. I don't know if exactly, but like, what could a boy do to make you like fall in love there and now? Um, Grab me. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't really know, to be honest, like, if a, I don't like it when a boy's too cringe, like when, I know I say, hello darling, or hello babe, or you're right babe, good morning babe, but then when if a boy says, you're right darling to me, I'm like, no, but then if somebody like, came I've to never me, had a boy like my age call me darling. Really? Have you, like, you have? Yeah. But then if I, if they said, I don't know, I really don't know what. Have you ever had like, you know, older men, if you're in a shop and you're right, they're like, oh, you're right darling. I'm like, yeah, cute, hi. You've never, I've never had yeah. a 19 year old say. Yeah, I have. Mm. Boris to give coronavirus. <sighs> what was I saying? Turn a big, like, what is something someone could do to make you literally fall in love then? Smile now? at me. I love tea. Ugh. No, like. Mm. I don't know, I really don't know, that's a hard one. Sexually, yes I know, but I'm not going to say that. I'll say it, I'll say it with Um, wait. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going to have to cut that out. I don't know how much of this we can put on. Just stick your tongue out, you've got a curry sauce tongue. Do you? Do I? Yeah, that's vile. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so I stick my tongue out then on the camera. I don't know. Crop. Hmm. It's not bad in camera. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. Any more questions? There isn't like questions. Okay. What's the question for you? My question for you. Oh, you just stared right at me. Can you guys see him? Squishy to red. Doot, doot. Mm. Come on, then. It's quite what hard. What would be your perfect wedding? Aww. If you had all the money, like the unlimited amounts of money for a wedding. I don't want to get married in a church. Okay. I uh, feel like I know what you're going to say. What are you going to say? You'd want to get married abroad? Um, no. Okay. Well, actually, yeah. that's a good idea. If I got married abroad, I would literally want it minimum people. So I would have mm. you as like a bridesmaid, maid of honor, well, maid of honor. Um, I'd have one adult bridesmaid. I would. I want to get married before I have kids. Oh, we must be seventeen if you drive. Sorry. Yeah. I want to get married before I have kids. You want to get married? Yeah. And then I want to renew my vows once yeah. I've had kids. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. I loved the way my mum's wedding was. She had it in a massive, massive marquee, but yeah. she got married outside, and it was beautiful um 
So oh, she got, she didn't get married in a church? No. She got, she had she both the reception outside. and the ceremony the in the same place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I like the breakfast mm -hmm. and things. I That was a lovely day, but actually, yeah, getting married abroad, I would love to get married in Jamaica. Really? Yeah, on That's the beach. out there. Yeah, I would love that. Um, what about you? Oh, actually, my dress. I don't want a big dress and I don't want a small dress. I don't know what I want. I really want a, a plain dress. Mm -hmm. Long. Maybe fish tail. A glittery. A okay. bale. Cute. Oh, yeah. You'd have a bale, would you? Oh, yeah. My sister not was very close though, not to having a bale. And I may have a bale. Really? Uh, so my perfect wedding, it would either be, it, mine would be in a church, um, oh. <laughs> my, the church that, I don't know yet if it would be where I grew up or not, I don't think so, um, but Hello. I would, it's not the same girl. Yes, it is. It's a wedgie girl. Mm. We're not bitches, I swear. She can't hear us. So, but that is just surprised me. That's the worst but I've ever seen. The thing is, her. like, would you want to be the bird? I would tell my friend, I'd be like, babe, you've got a munchie gun. Oh, yeah, if it was you, I'd be like, babe, yeah. your ass. So, what I was going to say was, it would, I think, be the very traditional. I feel like I'd have to go down. <laughs> the traditional aisle because the only other wedding that i really loved was my sister's and theirs was very like almost country-esque oh, like about bar. yeah like that's what they they had it was like on a farm and they had a oh, really lovely farm that was done up and like a marquee and stuff like that, that so theirs was very like country-esque like my mum was yeah. in the country mum was kind of it wasn't in a barn it had the there was barns around and mm. horse stables mm. and the places that all the guests were staying were in horse stables and it was really lovely so i think i would go down the very traditional <clears throat> aisle and go for like a manor house for the reception that's quite me manor house um my like i have always loved um i used to go to a place called cliveden when i was younger a lot if any of you heard I, that's where Meghan markle stayed before she yeah. got married I used to go, we used to go there like all the time. Like that would be my dream, like reception place. Probably not Cliveden specifically, but that kind of feel. Got no questions. Um, but yeah, dress wise, yeah, it's a very traditional. <coughs> dress wise, I would love something kind of similar style to my prom dress. Oh my God, that's salt. Huh? Oh, Why is there so much salt? Thanks. <gasps> all that salt? I can't have that <gasps> because I wouldn't oh, want. Yeah, I wouldn't want a full meringue, but I'd want something that oh, would like yeah. cinch me in at the waist, yeah. but then flowy on the bottom, not like. Oh yeah, same as my mum's. Yeah, that's what I want. Same as my mum's. Basically, like my prom dress. I would get sure married in my mum's dress if she let me. Really? Yeah. My sister wore my mum's wedding dress when she played Maria in the Sound of Music. Really? When she got married, yeah. My mum's. My wow. mum still is tiny, but she was tiny. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Dream holiday. What would be Unless your perfect well. holiday? With all my whole family. Yeah, that's what I was literally about to like, say. With current okay, family. My current family. Where would you want to go? <coughs> um. I wouldn't go abroad with my family. I want to go to the Isle of Wight. Really? Yeah, because everyone says it's how lovely it is, and oh, I've it, never been. It is lovely. There are lots of lovely little places. It's just a tiny abroad, island. maybe so somewhere cute. like Cyprus or something. Like, like. With my current family, so my we've been a lot of holidays. So yeah, my family are very. My parents are quite old. Yeah. No offense, Mark and Caroline. Um, I've got quite a big family. This would include Hannah and Adam and Clara, right? Yes. Yeah, because they're mine. Um, so it would have to be something slightly low maintenance because they can't deal with stressful things. So. I think it would have to be definitely somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Um, I think the perfect one would be fr would be France. Oh yeah. Because Adam speaks French. I see. 
yeah so as long as we had someone that was able to you know help get us around and stuff which is adam i think that would be a perfect one yeah. walking sightseeing yada 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 okay what would be we our perfect one with friends is basically the same uh, isn't it yeah i wouldn't want to go with loads of friends though there would i would want to go to one holiday and if we did it'll be you me macy and georgia mm -hmm. wouldn't it and where did you want to go like ibiza or something didn't you say you wanted to go? Yeah, i want to go to ibiza yeah but yeah the girls were really up for oh that. yeah yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Up for that. Um, yes, with my family, I want to go to Jamaica so really? bad. I've always wanted to go to Jamaica. I love it. Um, if not, I really want to go to America. I want to go to LA. Fair enough. I really want to live in LA. Do you know why? Tell me long <laughs> I don't think I want to live in America, but... I don't want to live in America. I would love to stay there for a year or yeah. Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My dream holiday with my like family that I would have when I was older. Um, my dream holiday anyway is New York. New America, York is yeah. number one for me. Um, I would love to go there. If it was somewhere like hot, probably Australia. Oh, Bondi Rescue. I'd love to go to bloody Bondi Beach. Yeah, Australia. Yeah, Bondi Beach, yeah. Bondi, yeah, Australia would be. That's a good question, that was a good question. Yeah, I know, I'm just great. Yeah, hundred percent. I do like. Oh, is the sun coming out? No. Ooh, okay. We live in the UK. Actually, tell me what you think about me. What's your favourite musical? Just one. I can't pick one. Yeah, you have to. I have five. No one. I have five. No. Five. No. Please. No. Three. Two. I can't. No. Question ended then. Okay, I could do three for you. Go on. Then. <laughs> okay. Can I say my five and then just say yeah, my three? Yeah, go on then. So, my five favorite musicals are, this is an in order, Billy Elliot, Spring Awakening. Okay, Tom. <laughs> Billy Elliot, Spring Awakening, Waitress, Fame. Brilliant. And Matilda. Go on. If I had to pick the three from those, I think it would be those, that, um, Billy Elliot, Spring Awakening, and Waitress. Really? Sorry, Matilda, and sorry, Fame. Fame is for Amazing. sentimental reasons. Yeah. I don't think it's like the best show, but I've done it a couple of times, and both times I've absolutely loved I it. I want to see Matilda. Matilda is. I cried the second time I saw Matilda because there was a stage malfunction, and all the kids knew what to do, and it made me cry because they're just so good. So that's what made me cry. That's cute. The other three I haven't actually. No. Spring Awakening, I've seen, there's a YouTube version with like Leah Michelle and Jonathan Groffin. Um, well, you've the never original, seen it live? But I've not seen the full version of it live. No, because it it was taken off West End. I don't even know if it was even on West End. It was definitely on Broadway, but... But like, can we can watch it then one time while I'm here? On YouTube? Yeah. It's very sad. Is it? Yeah. But it's very good. All the songs in it. Spring Awakening and Billy Elliot. We were talking about this yesterday with Helen and Adam. I did like Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot was good. Both... Of those musicals, different. every single song is amazing. Oh yeah, Billy Elliot. I've watched. I haven't actually again haven't not seen it live. Those. You've seen it live. I have seen it live. We've got the ten year anniversary DVD with Mr. Tom Holland in the end of it, in. but the one with Elliot Hannah or Hannah. He is amazing, but every song in Billy Elliot and every song in yeah, Spring Awakening good. is. Freaking fantastic. Waitress became my favourite. Waitress cried both times. Waitress is just unbelievable. The storyline is so, I see so lovely. Yeah. Um, so so good. good. I mean, the second time I cried more about a different reason, <laughs> but it was still amazing. Yeah. Like, I just, it's amazing. So. Is that the end of the questions? I think it is. Did we get any the questions? Video? Yeah, I think so. 42 minutes. I've got some editing to do, I think. Let's see if we've got any questions. Well, that's not a nice photo. Mm. Mm. Peace out. Peace out. We need to think of an outro and intro. It'll happen. We didn't even do an Naturally. intro. So? Hi, guys. Welcome Hi back guys. to my channel. No, it's no, not. So we'll just go jump. Jump straight in. But thanks, thanks for watching. watching. Subscribe and like. Go follow our socials.